Hi everyone, I'm Mike and welcome to episode F of the Animal Alphabet Challenge. So in this week's video I'm going to be using my usual Sharpie marker pen and some A4 mixed media paper and I'm going to do a drawing of a flamingo. So like all the other episodes in this series the idea is I don't draw fl flamingos very often. So um, and in fact, I don't really draw birds particularly often either. I'm just trying to think out of the all the images I have on my website, whether how many how many bird drawings or sketches I've done. I'll have a look and what I'll do is I'll pop them up on screen uh, a little bit later in the video so you can kind of see some of the other stuff I've done. But I don't think I've ever drawn a flamingo before. But if I have, I'll, I'll put that up as well. Anyway, so while I've been chatting away, I've been using some rather scratchy marks to you know, line out the, the head and the neck of the flamingo. And that's one of the cool things with the Sharpie marker is it does give a, a lovely scratchy kind of line when you want it to. So it's almost like using a brush in some ways, a, a little bit of dry brush. Um, but so far, as I said, we're on episode F of this little series. Uh, and so far we've done um, an armadillo, baboons, a camel, uh, a dingo and a donkey for episode D. And then last week we did an elephant. And um, so far what I'm doing is I'm sticking completely with just black line. And that's the I, I will probably do that for the entire series. But what I may do when I've completed the series is go back and add some colour to some of these line drawings. Uh, because for something like the flamingo, obviously it's a vibrant pink in colour. So, um, you know, it's this drawing already I feel is kind of begging for some colour. But uh, But as I said, for this little video... We'll stick with the monochrome and again while I've been chatting away there having done the outline work rather than try and depict every single feather what I've done is just picked out a few key feathers here and there enough to give a sense of what's going on on the body of the bird. So a little bit of shading around the eye and then got to be quite careful doing the eyes with, with the Sharpie pen because it's an indelible marker and because I'm not using any paint to white anything out You've got to get that pupil in the right place. So a little bit of careful consideration there. And now notice I, the, the, the hatch lines I, I'm using to shade on the neck. They are changing in direction with different parts of the neck and I'm not following the line of the neck either. And now as I move on to the feathery bit, the more feathery bits, I should say the, the larger feathers on the body, there's a little bit more curve there, although I've resorted to straight marks just as I was chatting. So what I'm doing is I'm, I'm using a variety of marks to, even though at a glance they might look similar, different parts of the bird I'm using different style of marking to try and convey a different type of, a different piece of information, whether it's modelling or texture, you know, fluffiness, deep shadow, a little bit of cast shadow on the leg here. Obviously this particular flamingo is standing on one leg, the other one is tucked up under the wing there. And... I think this one is you know, getting close to done. So a quick signature and I'll put the finished pick up on screen and then I'll also put up those pictures of other stuff from my website, other bird drawings, if you're interested to have a look at those. But I'll be back next week with episode G. So I hope to see you then. Thanks very much for watching.